And hey, beautiful people. Hey, beautiful people. I wanted to go live to show you guys how I go about removing accounts from your credit reports. Now, a lot of people, they get my free dispute letters. And if you haven't already, go to Rakita.com and you'll see that I have free dispute letters for you. So let me actually show you that. And if you guys are watching me on TikTok, you'll have to go to my YouTube channel or um, you can also just go to Rakita.com. You'll see the free dispute letters on how I'm removing these accounts. So here is my website. It's coming up now. Here's my website here. You can get free dispute letters here. It's going to be just a regular dispute. It's going to be also um, disputes to remove inquiries, collections, bankruptcies, all of the different accounts. You got free dispute letters there plus a credit card list. So it's on my website, Rakita.com. If you guys are on TikTok, you'll see it right in my bio. That's how I'm able to get people accounts removed uh, from their credit reports. But a lot of people get these free dispute letters and they honestly never send them out. So I'm going to show you now. We have a sample credit report right here. I'm going to literally do the first round of letters right on here. I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing it. Um, TikTok, I just don't know how to show you guys how I'm doing it, but you will be able to see it if you go to my um, YouTube channel. You will be able to see it. And hopefully I'll be able to upload it here um, later on too so you guys can actually see my uh, screen. But you have to go to YouTube or go on my Facebook page. But we're going to actually work to remove these accounts. And here's those dispute letters that you guys are going to get for free. If you go to Rakita.com, you'll see these dispute letters. So these are the, this is the first letter we're going to send out. This is the um, validation of debt letter, the cease and desist letter. That's just to tell them, don't even call me, you know, debt collectors. You guys may be getting calls from them. You guys have all of this for free. Just going to Rakita.com and getting that free letter. So make sure you guys um, check those different things out. Here's that inquiry letters. A inquiry letter so send that out and also you guys have a bankruptcy letter that you can send out say if you have a bankruptcy on your credit report then you guys will have to send something well it is good that you guys will send something into the bankruptcy court just to show that they're not reporting it and that's a good way to get the bankruptcy removed but this is going to take a little while you guys again go to rakita.com you will be able to see this i also have it too where you guys i can do these letters for you right now i'm just doing a sample um, but I also have it too, where you guys will be able to get the letters done for you all, um, for free. So say if you go to Rakita.com, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can get the six months of free letters. I'll do your six months of letters. So I'll get your credit reports. I'll actually send it out for you guys for free. Now, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get my mega dispute letter package. Um, right now I have the 65% off of that package. It's literally my bankruptcy letters. So you get six letters to remove bankruptcies. You get the six letters for, actually it's four letters for bankruptcy, six letters for collection, six letters for charge off. You get all of these letters basically. You see all of this, student loans, late payments, collections, all of that 65% off. And you'll get offered that too after you get that free letter. All you have to do is get that package is 65% um, off. And then get your trial, your free 14-day um, free trial with Aura, because you guys are going to be able to see information on Aura, and you can lock your experience report. Because not only do I have to help you guys remove these accounts, we really do need to um, get you guys credit cards. If you don't have four credit cards, you really need to get those four credit cards. So we need to work on that. And then also get your free trial with um, Identity IQ. And that's a um, seven-day trial. And so the Aura is 14 days, and the Identity IQ is... Um, seven days. Identity IQ, you have to pay for that. It's going to be a dollar. And then I need you to do that credit application. Once you do this, I need you guys to call my company, um, Rakita 833 Rakita. And then I'll be able to look to see if you have everything. And then I want to start getting those letters done right away or pull your credit report right away. Because some people, they don't want to pay the additional money for it. Um, for Identity IQ or probably for, or you guys can cancel that, but I need to be able to see everything first to say, okay, we need to delete this. We need to work on that. And then once I'll be able to see everything, then I can go ahead and pull your credit reports in and you can cancel those services um, after that. But call me right away because you only technically got seven days if we're talking about uh, Identity IQ, okay? So let's talk about these different accounts. Again, it's going to take a little while because it's like literally 40 something accounts. So it's going to take us a while to actually remove these different accounts by putting them on your, um, this letter that I have. So let's start working on it. Now, these are all of the accounts here. Um, with these accounts, you guys, we have um, auto loan that we have to get removed. It looked like this auto loan is paid off. It just got some late payments. Uh, we also have some credit cards that were charged off. 
We also have another credit card. We also have some collections on here, medical bills. So we're going to organize all of these different accounts on this free letter. Again, you want to get it on Rakita.com, TikTok, if you guys are watching it then you guys can go to the website. You can see it right above me too to get your free letters, go to Rakita.com. So go ahead and check it out um, there. So let's start working on it. Now, this is the free letter that you guys are going to get that you need to send out where you can list all of your accounts here. I don't care what account it is. You guys can list your accounts here, all of them here. Let me move you guys over TikTok because I can't see the screen. Okay, so this is our first letter. Now I have in the package, you're going to get round one through six. Also, you're going to see letter one, two, three, four, five, six. You have that. Plus, if you want to separate your accounts like bankruptcies, student loans, you also have those letters. I want to show you guys the basic way of doing it where you'll just list your account on one letter. You don't have to think too much. This is like the basic way of doing it. And a lot of people don't understand. Just send out that first letter. You want to get results. So it's great if you guys will be able to. And just send out your first letter so you can start getting those results. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. But here is the first letter. So let's start filling this stuff in and, you know, let's play around with this letter, okay? So the first thing is we want to put a name in. So let's go ahead and put a name in. And this information is fake just in case, um, you know, they want to mess with me about it. Um, not TikTok, but YouTube do not like that. They think this information is right. So you want to put your name in, your address in. Um, one, two, three, Main Street. Whatever this is, whatever your city is, your state is, and your zip code. So put whatever you want to put in there. Then put your social security number right here. Your social security number, then put your date of birth in right here. Put your date of birth in. Now, the credit bureaus, you have three different credit bureaus, you guys. You have TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. You're going to get all the addresses to the credit bureaus so that you guys can go ahead and put this information in. So go ahead and put whatever credit bureau this is here. What I like to do too is since we're on this, let's go ahead and just copy this letter right here. So this is, we're going to do three separate letters. So this is going to be our first letter. And then let's hit return. And then this is going to be our second letter. And let's just put it right here too so that um, we can clearly see it. Let's just put the second letter. And then let's put TransUnion here. So this is going to be TransUnion. We're going to make this one Equifax. And we're going to make this next one. Let's paste another one. We're going to make this next one Experian. Again, you can get this for free right on the website, Rakita.com, and you start filling this out your, on your own. If you want the free letters, go all the way down to the bottom of the screen, and then you guys will be able to um, get those free letters. So let's go ahead and put Experian right here. Now, the reason why we have to separate it is because of this. So here's the credit report right here, you guys. Can you guys um, still see everything? So here's that credit report right here, right? So on this credit report, you'll be able to see this is Experian right here. This is Equifax and this is TransUnion. So all the TransUnion accounts are right here. Equifax is right here and Experian is right here. So that's why I tell you guys, um, that we have to separate the letters because when we go down some more, we have a finger hut account that we got to get deleted, but it's not on Equifax. So we can't put that on our Equifax letter. If we do, they're going to just basically say, hey, you disputed this um, finger hut account, but it's not on your report. So let's not even um, take up space. Let's just make sure we separate our letters. Um, right. And then also we have this Midland credit management. We have this Experian one right here. And then also we have this TransUnion one that don't have anything. It's just Equifax. So that's why I tell you guys, we have to make sure that we're separating it all the way out. Now, I hope my TikTok is working correctly, you all. Let me see. Maybe I have to come back into it. Let me see. Let me bring, see if I can bring it back up one second, you guys. Um, let's Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's start filling this information in because we have 
a lot of it, okay? So these are all of our letters. We have everything filled in so far. So now we have to list all of our, our accounts right here. I usually tell people don't put more than 10 accounts right here, you guys, but I remember putting 30 accounts in an account still, you still see deletions. So I don't wanna tell you guys don't limit anything on that first letter. If you wanna separate it, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. And I just literally went to go buy some more stamps for the business. What I like to do, even though it's a, it's a, we sent out so many dispute letters, I still like to send out like different kinds. So it looked like it's coming from that person. I don't want to send out, I used to have like a stamper where I can stamp them all. And I like to literally send out different stamps for everybody. So I'm going to use these um, this weekend because I got to get some letters put together. Um, so I like to send out a different stamps. So each one you want to put in its own envelope. And also, too, these are, I have the envelopes here that I send out. And it, it's also best that you guys will send it out certified. But, again, yeah, you can put as many as you, as you want on there. If you know you're going to put 30 accounts, some people have 30, 40 accounts that they need to get deleted from their credit reports, right? If you know you have a lot of accounts, I want you guys to make sure that you send it out certified. It's going to cost you more, but trust me, you have to really send these things out certified to really get some great results, um, at least for your first round, too. And then... Um, we're going to talk about also removing names and addresses, but let's not waste too much time now that I explain all of that. So here's all the accounts right here. This is where you'll put the name of the account. This is where you'll put the account number. And then you're going to put whether account is not yours, no contract, not liable, unverifiable. That's just the basic thing. If you guys have a late payment, just put I was never late on this account. Please update this account to never late. You can just put something simple like that. You don't have to make it hard. You can just put something very simple on there. Like I was never late for this account. Please update this account as never late paid as agreed. And for the people on TikTok, I'm live on Facebook and I'm live on YouTube. If you guys want the free dispute letters I'm talking about, it's on my website, Rakita.com. And it's also in my link. So you guys will be able to actually see me fill out the letter. Hopefully next weekend I will figure this out, but I don't know how to do it. Um, I don't know how to do it on TikTok. Now, let's actually, let's get this account right here because I don't know what the name of this account is. Let's go right down here to this Ashley Stewart. So here is the name of the account, right? Can we see that? That's the name of the account. So we're going to go ahead and copy and paste that right here where it says name of the account. And then we also want to paste this account number. Can you see that account numbers are different? So Experian, can you see Experian and Equifax have the same account number and then TransUnion have a different account number? What we could do is we could, Paste this account number, which is what I'm going to do. Or you guys can go a step further and only put this one on your dispute letters. Put this account number on this dispute letter for Experian and Equifax, and you can go ahead and put this one on TransUnion. That's something that you guys can be able to do. But we're going to go ahead and put that TransUnion number on, number on here, and we need to delete this account. And I'm going to say delete it because it's saying that it's 180 days late. It's a collection slash charge off. And it's derogatory. So that means this account really needs to get deleted. There's no help in this account right here. We really need to remove this account from the credit reports. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this one for all three credit bureaus. I'm going to keep this information, not mine, no contract, not liable, unverifiable. I'm going to keep that information right there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that. And I'm going to put that on all three credit bureaus because again we have three different letters the first one right here this one is going to equifax let me make sure i make that bigger so you guys can see that so let's make that um 14 so that you guys can see that that one is going to equifax this one right here is going to transunion and it is on all three credit bureaus so we're going to paste it on all three this one is going to transunion we're going to fix these numbers too because they all messed up and then this one right here is going to go to Experian. So I'm going to copy and paste that onto all three credit bureaus because that's just one of the accounts. Okay, per perfect. Now we got our first account done. Let me delete this little extra right here. We got our first account done. So now what we want to do is we want to go to our next account. So that was the Ashley store. Let's go down and do our next account. So we have Merrick Bank right here. Now we want to copy this name. We know we need to delete this account because it says derogatory. Also, it says collection slash charge off. So we know we need to remove it because it says it's, it's, it's a bad account. It's no reviving. And once it says collection, charge off, things like that, we need to remove it, you guys. There's no help in that account. Okay. So we need to make sure that we remove it once we see that we it says that. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and copy this one next. Put this on our second one. So copy this name right here. 
um, copy this account number. And don't forget, you guys, once you guys get the free letter, it's going to give you an option to get my package that have it's like literally over like 40 something letters in there. Go ahead and get that package. Follow the steps at the bottom and then I'll be able to do all your letters for you for the next six, six months. I'll do the letters for you, let you know what your results are and everything. Just in case you guys are like, this is just too, too much because it could be too much, especially if you don't understand it. Just go ahead and get that package and then I'll be able to do the letters for you. And since this was on all three credit bureaus, we're copying this one on all three letters. So this is letter number two to TransUnion. We need to put it on that one. Then letter number three to Experian. We need to actually put it on this one too. So let's go ahead and copy this one here. Again, just go to my website, you guys. The letter that we're filling out now is right here. Free dispute letters. Go to Rakita.com. Go ahead and get this free letter. Scroll down to the bottom. And this will teach you how you can get the free um, your letters for free. So go ahead and check that check that out to you guys. So that is going to be our Merrick Bank. We have that on all three letters. So that's really good. Let's scroll back up to the top so we can remember where we're at. And then let's move to the next letter. So the next one we need to remove is Walmart. So this is a Walmart with Synchrony Bank. We need to get it removed. For one thing, it's a derogatory account, okay? If it say that, you need to see why it's derogatory. It says collection and charge off. Once you see that on your credit reports, you can't really revive it, you guys. We have to um, remove it. So let's go ahead and copy this one because we have to add this one to our letter because we need to get this thing deleted, okay? So let's go ahead and copy that there. And then the account number is listed here. I'm gonna pick the longest account number out of all of them. You can see Equifax have a different account number here. I'm gonna pick the longest one that's out of all of them so that we can go ahead and remove them. So let's go ahead and add this account number on here. And I see it's a question. So after I do each account, I'm gonna go back and answer one of the questions that I see. So go ahead and drop some questions and I'll go ahead and answer those. So let's go ahead and copy this one now because this one is on all three credit bureaus. Again, Experian, Equifax and TransUnion on all three. So we wanna copy this to each letter that we have. So this is... The one after TransUnion, copy that there, and then copy it on the Experian letter also. Okay, perfect. Let's scroll back up to the top. Let's find our place with the next account. And then let me answer a question because I see that we have some questions coming through. Also, okay, so awesome information. Thank you so much. This is going to be really good because the thing is, we really need to send out letters. People just not send out letters, to be honest. Does this, does, um, to be honest, does this work for original creditors? Yeah, this does work for original creditors, collection companies, whatever it is, even a bankruptcy, the same thing will work. So th this will definitely um, work for that. Go ahead and drop your questions down below too. I'll continue to come back and answer them. But I want to make sure I can show you guys start to finish me doing a credit report and actually repairing it to teach you guys how I'm getting results. And let me see if I can show you guys um, some results. I may have some already here that I can show you guys of some people or what they've been saying after they start repairing their credit and getting their lives together. So somebody right here said that they went from a 491 to a 681 in five months and they were wondering about some checks, but that is good how they had a great jump like that in five months. Somebody's asking about furniture. That's we don't want to really see that one. This is a, somebody said they was able to get approved for forty five hundred dollars and thirty five hundred dollars. Um, that's off of videos that I make about um, you know, credit cards that you can get. They actually got that Lexus Pursuit, I believe. And look, somebody else said they got two thousand dollars. They was able to pre qualify for it on my website. You guys will be able to also see um that I have certain credit card lists. So keep going. Um, this is Rakita.com. You'll be able to see like the different credit card lists. Check these out because I even have some that can pre-qualify you without a hard inquiry. The best ones for bad credit. So you don't have to think too hard about like which credit card you have to get. But while you're in this journey of repairing your credit, you really need to start getting positive accounts and adding them onto your credit reports. You really, really do need to do that. Um, somebody got an 87 point increase, one of my clients. So I wanted to show you guys that. Somebody was able to get a $7,200 credit card. That is another good uh, credit card. Somebody was able to get $15,000 with BJ's. Um, also, somebody was able to get $10,000 with um, Toyota. These are just people that's watching the channel, you guys, and getting these credit cards. 
And again, some points increase. This is really good. 35 points. And I I still have my 60 points in 60 days, too. If you guys want to check that out, how to increase your credit score 60 points um, in 60 days, it will show you, you know, the steps that you have to take. You can just click right here on this image and then it'll teach you you know how to do that All you have to do is put your information in you'll get the free dispute letters this way also but let's go ahead and do some more of our letter because we got a lot of accounts to go let me make sure i confirm that we are on our credit one bank now i just had someone contact um, me trying to talk to my assistant about how she just filed chapter seven bankruptcy and she wanted to wait to do her journey of repairing her credit right now and i was telling her hey when i filed bankruptcy before i started getting all these accounts right away I started removing my accounts right away. That's why I didn't feel the bankruptcy like other people. And also, um, when the bankruptcy hit, I started removing my bankruptcy right away. You don't have to have these accounts sit on here. You have to just start working. You know, bankruptcy don't mean you have to just sit around. You guys have to start working to remove these accounts. And also, Credit One Bank would be a good account that you guys can actually get right after bankruptcy because they don't care. They can start building your credit. And also get you some secure credit cards. But this person messed up on this one because we can see it's a collection of charge off. But you guys have to start building your credit and start removing them accounts um, right away. And then avoid that bankruptcy if you can. So don't just sit around and think, oh, you filed bankruptcy. I'm just going to wait. You don't have to do that. So let's copy that name of the account, which is the Credit One Bank. And also here is the account number. So let's go ahead and copy this account number. On here, you guys, we're going to keep this the same. Can you see how it says not mine, no contract? We're keeping all that stuff the same. Delete from my credit reports. We're going to keep that stuff the same because we just want to see what results we're going to get from our first letter. And then we'll go back in with the remaining account and send out additional letters. If you guys get that package that you guys will see on my um, website, then I'll do your letters for you for um, six months. So I'll be able to see what changes you're getting, what you should do next. I'll go through all that. Um, for six months with you all because some people they'll get the letters and they just not send them out and that's not helping anybody and that's the reason why i decided i need to go live and show you guys how to do them and if i'm doing my letters right now sometimes like i was listening to some people went debt free because right now i'm in the process to just make sure i'm completely debt free i made sure that i paid off my first vehicle in less than two years and i know i talk about credit cards and stuff like that i use that for rewards i don't want to be dependent on credit like that I use that to get ahead, but I like to listen to like that free video. So if you guys already have the letters, um, if you don't want me to do it for you, start doing it right now while I'm doing it live just to hear certain things. All you have to do is literally print that out or you can copy and paste it like I'm doing right now and just start getting them letters out. The, the hardest thing is just getting them done and mailing them, honestly. That's really the hardest thing, okay? So the ne this next account is the first premiere. Actually, we didn't copy this one. Let me finish copy this one. I don't think I copied this one down to experience. No, I did not. But start sending these letters out for real. That's the that's the hardest part to send them out. And let me tell you another thing too. One thing that I did when I was being lazy, but I know I needed to repair my credit. One thing that I did was I made all of my letters. I even like I put them all on there. Like how I have these letters like this, I still I copy and paste. Um, all of the information. So let me show you what I mean. I copy and paste all of the different accounts that we have on here. See how we have all these different accounts. I copied and paste this onto all of the letters. So I copy and paste this. I did not care about what if the account got deleted in three months. I didn't care about any of that. When I, because when I first got into that, I like went through like a depressed, a depressive stage. I was like in depression kind. It was like so bad. What I did was I just I copied all of that, put them on all the letters, and then I just ma I just put all I mailed all my letters. Well, I put them all in envelopes, and then every thirty days or every thirty five days, I set an alarm or something on my phone to put it in my mailbox. And all I have to do is stick it out so that the mail carrier can see, hey, I have letters, and I let them just mail those letters. And when I tell you my accounts, um, my credit scores went up so so much from just getting those accounts deleted. I had so much debt. That helped me a lot. And I realized the biggest thing, like I said, people are just not sending out the letters. And that's not going to help anybody if you guys are not sending out these letters. So let's go on to our next one. So we did Credit One Bank. Let's go ahead and do this first premiere. We have to send out this um, first premiere. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this one right here on the first premiere. 
Okay, perfect. So that's the first premiere. And again, if you guys don't understand like what accounts you need to remove, look at the payment status. If it's a collection charge off, you know you need to remove it. Like don't even play about it. It needs to get deleted. Now, I know I don't want to keep that one. Delete that account. It's it's that, you guys. It's charged off the uh, status say derogatory. That thing needs to be deleted. So we're going to copy and paste this one off to all three credit bureaus. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this one. And then we have to make additional ones to you guys because this was our last one that we can put on here technically because I only made a certain amount of spots. So let's go ahead and paste that here. Then we'll just make space and um, add the next ones on. So let's go ahead. Matter of fact, let's, let's add some more accounts because I know this person got a lot of accounts. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're just going to copy and paste it like this, you guys, just to get some extra ones on here. And then let me add some extra space so I don't, like, be confused. And this just add an extra spots because, like I said, you can put as many accounts as you want to on here. We just need some extra spots because they got more than five accounts. So we're going to just copy and paste this on here. Did I mess this one up? Yeah, let me undo that one. We should actually go after this part. Okay, perfect. And then on Experian, let's add some more spots on here too. Okay, perfect. Did I mess this one up too now? Nope, that's good. Okay, let's go back up to the top and let's add these additional accounts on now that we made more spots. Okay, so we did first premiere. Let's go down. So we have a finger hood account. Now look at this one, you guys. This was only on Experian and TransUnion. So we're not going to copy and paste this one on Equifax. We have to remember that. So let's go ahead and copy this one, this finger hood account. Let's, so this is Equifax. We're going to skip that one. Let's go ahead and copy this one onto TransUnion, which is this one here. So we're going to copy it. And, I mean, paste it here, and then let's go ahead and paste this account number on, too. So we're going to only put this one on Experian and TransUnion. So let's go ahead and copy this. Put this on our Experian one now. If it's not on that bureau, you don't want to add it to that letter because all of these have to go to their own spot. They're not all going to the same bureau. So that is our fingerhood account. Again, we see collection and charge off. We know we need to delete that one. We have another first premiere one here that we need to delete. It says collection charge off, so we need to remove it. Let's go ahead and copy and paste it. So this one is on all three. So we're able to put this on Equifax this time. And literally just go down the list and figure out like where it's at and just copy and paste it. Like it's literally as simple as that, you guys. Um, copy. Okay, let's see. Where is the next one? And we gotta make sure we keep track of where we're at too because we have these additional ones that say actually on here. So first premiere, it's added there. Okay, we see an Ashley one right here. And it looked like they got the same account number, huh? Nope, it's different account numbers because we had two first premiere. We have one right here, the account number technically ended in 201. This one ended in 499. So they had two first premiere accounts that they messed up on. But we need to remove it. Now, look, this was only on Equifax. So we only going to copy this one to Equifax. And this is a collection. All collections, I don't care what it's saying. We need to add it to get it deleted, period. It needs to, it needs to be gone, okay? So let's go up to Equifax and add it to our Equifax letter. Again, you guys can get this for free on the website, on Rakita.com. You can get the same package. It comes with inquiry letters. It comes with um, just your basic dispute letter. And also letters for the collection company stopped them from calling. I got that on there too because I was so mad them calling me, you guys. I was so mad with them calling me that I, I need to add that for you guys. I don't want this letter on, you see how the name of the account and then the account number, all that is separated. I don't want this up here. So I'm going to bring it down here so it can just look better. And they're all scanning this into a machine. When we mail this in, they're going to scan it into a machine. Nobody really looking at it. I just want to make sure it gets scanned correctly. So I'm going to make sure I add this here. Now, this is only on Equifax. So we're going to go to the next account because it wasn't on the other two bureaus. Okay, so we have a medical bill right here. Now, for medical bills, I like to copy the 
I don't name. This is different, you guys. So let's see. It's not on Equifax. So let's go to our TransUnion letter. I like to do something different um, with the medical debt. So I like to go here, go down, see where the next account is at, which is here. So paste that here. That's the name of the company. This is the account number. So let's count copy and paste that account number. And then where we see unverified and verify uh, unverifiable. Oh my gosh. Um I want to put um that this is a medical that should be deleted. Let's go ahead and put that. And if you want to put HIPAA violation, you can also put that in there too. But let's go ahead and copy this one. I just like to put medical debt should be deleted. Medical debt should be deleted because we got those new laws. And I've been saying that me putting that on there, I got more deletions. So let's not mess around with it. If some people getting results and they did it, you should try it too. Okay? Because the credit bureaus are not playing fair right now, you guys. We're doing disputes. They are even answering some disputes. And I have a, another letter, too, where you can put, hey, you guys didn't answer my dispute. You have to delete these accounts. So you have to figure out what other people did to get accounts deleted. And you have to do the same thing, honestly, just to get those accounts deleted. Now, this is another collection. It's not on Equifax. So we're going to skip our Equifax. So let's see. Here is our Equifax letter. Let's scroll down to our TransUnion letter, which is right here. And then let's go to our Ashley so we can see. Okay, add some space here. So here is the name of the account, Enhanced Recovery Company, ERC, basically. And then here is the account number. So let's go ahead and copy this here. And then I'm going to make a space because I don't want to cover it. And then, wait, which one is that's not one? Um, let me make sure because I'm just confused to make sure it's not on here. Okay, I didn't put it on there. I put it on TransUnion. Okay, put it on TransUnion and Experian. Like I said, you you could put it on all three. You can send a letter to all three, but what they're going to say is this account is not on here, so there's nothing we can do about it. I don't want to take up extra space, so I don't like to just mess up by just putting it on all three. Just take the time and do it this way, and then going forward, if you want to do that lazy way, like I said I had to do, where I just sent it to all three. I didn't care if it was on there or not. Uh, you can do it that way. But right now, I just want to make sure I'm doing it correct so that people can follow along all week until I do our next reports next weekend. So let's go ahead and copy this one here. Go to the top because it's on Equifax. Go to the top and put it on our Equifax letter. Okay, here it is here. So this is the name. Paste it right here where the name is at. Account number. Let's go ahead and paste it here. And then we want to copy this to all three credit bureaus. Yes, let's go ahead and copy this one to all three credit bureaus. The most important part, you guys, like don't think about having it perfect, putting different reads. You figure all that stuff out later on. Just be happy that you sent out your first letter. And like with me being on my um, debt free journey, me paying off my debts and certain things like that. Like when I first paid off my vehicle, I didn't care if I just paid an extra $20 towards it more than my car note. Like I just put anything towards it and I was happy. I didn't think about, oh, I should have put an extra hundred. And then I didn't think like that. I was just like, just do something, okay? Which is me right now. We just sending out letters. We're not trying to make them perfect. We're trying to just do what we can right now to get them out the door, okay? So here is our next account. Here's the um, account name. Let me see if I have any questions before I go forward. What happens after the six? Hopefully your accounts are gone. That's what happened. Hopefully that's the goal. Um, that your accounts are gone or majority of them is gone. And maybe you just have a few accounts that you need to work on. That would be the goal. That would be the goal. After the six months, you hopefully you'll have them accounts done. Or at least you'll be at the place where you're like, well, I got four additional credit cards. I got six additional credit cards. Well, I can get my mortgage now. I can get my car now. It really don't take that much. It really just takes consistency. And that's why I said I'm offering to be able to do this for free because I'm doing it live anyway. I'm going to need somebody else's reports anyway for next week. This is just an example for somebody else's reports, but I'll be able to do whoever it is that follow those different steps on here. And you guys go down here and you do the six months for free and follow these five steps. 
I'll be doing theirs next week, but most likely I'll pull in their reports and everything. And if I have too many people, I'm going to just start sending their stuff out right away. And then the last person that's probably got to get it out that day or the next day, I'll do their theirs on a weekend. But after the six months, hopefully these accounts are deleted. You all like after I sent out my six um, months of letters, when I, my first time messing my credit, my first time, <laughs> it's multiple times, but first time messing my credit. Um, I seen a lot of them accounts were deleted. I was able to get credit cards and everything, but I could have been getting credit cards to the process. I was just scared, which is why I want to help you guys not be so scary because it's not going to pay to be scary. It's not. You guys really need to start getting credit cards as soon as you start repairing your credit. So we copy that account name. Let's copy this account number. And here it is right here. Let's scroll down some and find, okay, here is another space for this on TransUnion. And then this is Experian. Let's put this on Experian now. Okay, this one is going to go right here. Okay, perfect. Now look how many accounts they have, you guys. A lot of them. We're like going account after account after account. I'm telling you, if just 25% of these come off, it's going to help them a lot. So here is the account name. So let's go ahead and copy that on our next letter. So we're going to go back up to Equifax, find our spot because we added additional spots right here, you guys, just so we can just copy and paste it easily. So that's the name of the account. And then here is the account number. So let's go ahead and copy it. Like this is literally how simple it can be. Now, the reason why I'm saying I'll do six months for free is because I got a system that can literally populate all of this. I can say oh, this, put this in, put that in. You know, I do a little tweaking. I do more than just this, you all, um, especially after that first round of letters. But um, I have a system that can just populate them, you guys, that can print them. And then I have assistants that can help with this. So it won't be so hard for me to be able to do it, which is why I just say, you know what? If you get the package, you'll have the letters. So going forward, you mess up your credit. You ain't got to come back and ask me to do it. I taught you. I did it the first time. Um, you'll have the letter literally with, it's like literally over 40-something letters. No reason. You'll have that whole package of letters. That's a requirement. You got to get that package. I don't want you to be dependent on me. That's one thing I don't want. But um, my assistants and me will go in there and do our, your first six months of letters. You should be good. Like, especially another thing, too, I didn't talk about this too much. Um, I want to continue copy and paste this, but I want to talk about what you guys can do, too, also while you're doing this. Like, you send out these letters right before you send out these letters. So the most important thing that I found is, remember I told you all I had to send out those letters to the credit bureaus? So when I sent those letters out to the credit bureaus, I found out that, um, I forgot what his name is. What is his name? Corey P. something. I don't know. I don't know if you guys heard of him, if he's even around right now. But he educated me on how you have to update your address. You guys cannot have any address on your credit report that's attached to any of these accounts, you all. So. Say with this account right here that we pasted, this Ashley Stewart account, whatever address you were at when you apply for this Ashley Stewart credit card, you got to make sure that address is not on your credit report. So you got to get that address deleted from your credit report. Any address that's um, technically got bad accounts attached to them, you got to get it removed. So while you guys are sending out these letters or right before you send them out, but first you guys to do it like right before, it shouldn't take too long. I want you guys to call the credit bureaus and say, hey, I have this one, two, five Main Street on my credit reports and I need to get it deleted uh, from my credit reports. Th my current address is this. This address should not be on there. And when you guys get those addresses deleted and you send in a letter to the credit bureaus about these accounts, it's going to be so much easier for these accounts to just come off your credit reports. Some people want to be stubborn. That's like in my membership, they don't want to do it. They don't want to send out, the, they don't want to say, well, I sent out a letter the first round saying to remove it, but they don't want to call the credit bureaus just to confirm that we're going to delete it. Not know, oh, we didn't want to delete it. They're going to send a letter back. We didn't want to delete all your addresses, but these are the ones we decided to remove. I mean, like you on the phone with them and they say, hey, we're going to delete all of these addresses. Which ones? Okay, good. Um, that's what I want you all to be able to do. I want you guys to call the credit bureaus, get those addresses removed from your credit reports because it's going to be very, very important. Now, as you can see, those are all the negative accounts. We're on positive accounts now. 
I don't want to put these positive accounts on there. And if you guys see these red marks, these red marks are finding inaccuracies. I told you guys um, plenty of times if you guys watch my channel about deleting accounts. If you guys have inaccurate and incomplete data on your credit reports, it must be deleted. How do Wells Fargo got three different account numbers on three different bureaus for you? Tell me about that. How? How is that possible? How is the account type different? Experience sentence a credit line secure and the other one just says a secure credit card. How? The date open is different across all three credit bureaus. How is that possible? But this is positive, so we're going to let them, we're going to leave it like that, okay? We're not going to mess with these accounts. You guys have to make sure you have at least four credit cards um, on your credit reports, okay? You have to make sure you have at least four credit cards reporting positively. That's something that we really have to make sure that we're doing, okay? Make sure you have four. We're going to get into that right after we finish up these letters. So we got all of the negative information, right? So this is our letter. Let's go ahead and clean it up now. Um, so this is the letter. What we want to do is we want to delete right here where it says letter number one. We want to delete that. We just wanted that so we can remember. We want to actually paste in experience address, I mean, Equifax's address right there. We want to clean this up too. Let's bring this up some. Ooh, this one ain't even trying to. We don't just leave this, let this be. Okay, we're not gonna mess with things like that. So let's go ahead and delete all of those additional Ashley Stewart. So all of these are additional. We didn't need those, so we're gonna delete that. Um, put the name right here. What name do we make up? Okay, Monique Jones. Okay, so we're gonna put that right here. Delete this right here is my copyright. Delete that. Don't put that in your letter. And then that's perfect letter. This letter is perfect. Go into the credit bureaus. This is perfect. So all you have to do is send this one in. This one is perfect, you guys. Now, letter number two, this one right here, going to TransUnion. We want to remove this. Let's make sure we just copy this ahead of time. No, we're going to put it at the bottom. Put the full TransUnion address right here. I would just keep this here where it says like the 16, or if you have a problem with this, where it says like um, 12, 13, 14. Can you see those numbers? They not really good. Um, let's go ahead and copy all of this. Oh, just one account left for this one. And then let me see. Let's put some just some dots on it. Mm, I don't like that. Oh, just remove it. That look good too. You see that? That'll get it too. That'll that'll work. But we gotta remove this additional account right here. This one gotta go. Because it's just a, a duplicate. Okay, good. Keep all of this here. This is the juicy stuff you need. The credit bureaus know that you know what you're talking about. You demand they you demand that they delete all unverified and inaccurate accounts from your credit reports. We're gonna paste your name here and delete this copyright. And then um, this next letter is experience. So we want to put that on its own page. Just for those people that just you know need help making doing the letters, right? I just want to show you all. Okay, good. So the name is here, address, so security number, date of birth. We did that already. Put the full address for Experian right there. Um, let's make this look more better too. And we're going to do that by clicking here. Okay, good. Perfect. We're going to delete this section. That is perfect. And this one is going to additional page. That's fine. If you want to. Um, take this copyright right here. You could make this smaller if you don't want it. Well, it's already on three pages. What am I talking about? It's already on three different pages. That's all right. But sometimes if, if you aren't, if you don't have as many accounts as they have, they have a lot of negative accounts. If you don't have as many as you want to, you can make it really small print. You can make it smaller, um, seven, eight, so it can fit on one page. And you probably can get better results that way too if you can fit it on one page. But that's all three of the letters, you guys, to all three credit bureaus. Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. So that's that's all three letters. You guys are getting the free the letters, the free letters right here. Go to my website, Rakita.com. You can schedule a call with me if you have any questions, and you can get the free dispute letters right here. So go ahead and get your free dispute letters right here. And then once you get your um, once you get your free dispute letters, if you want to, you can come back to my website or check your email. You want to get an email to tell you how you can get your six months of free letters. You just have to get my package and it's a 65% discount. This is literally all the letters that I sell. It's all bundled together in one package. So you're going to get the six late paid, 
uh, six late payment letter package, the student loan package, collection package, um, charge off package, even the bankruptcy package. Plus, you're going to get just like the regular dispute letters. You see how we put like all of our accounts on this one letter right here? We have them all on here. If you want to just keep going that route, I have all the letters just to put them on that one. But if you want to target that person, let me go back to their comment. That person, where are they at? Um, let me see if I can find it. Okay, per this one right here. They said, hey, what happens when the six months is up? What are you going to do? When your six months is up and you still have certain accounts on there, that's when you want to send out target letters for late payments. That way you can target and talk about stuff about that late payment. The student loans, you want to send out the letter for just your student loans on that one letter. Collection, you want to target collections, charge off, you want to target charge offs. You're going to get all of this in that package. I think the package is like $197 for like the package, but if you guys click on this link, you're going to get a 65% off because I realized a lot of people just are not sending out letters. Like if you don't send them out, it's not going to be worth it. Like seriously. And it's just a lot of people going through different things. And I just see that a lot of our black people, I don't know who are watching this. I'm just, just being real. We just don't have this education. It took me a long time to even gather a lot of this information, but it changed my life. So I just want to make sure I teach you guys how to do this. And that's why I provide the free letters. You can literally start fixing your credit with the free letters and you can get your life um, on a better track by doing that. But that package got all of these different letters. And after the six months, it's probably when you want to start targeting like these different things. And I have my membership. Um, if you want to get the membership, if you guys are a member, we automatically send our letters for you anyway. You don't even have to think. Just get your identity. IQ, we're gonna send your letters out for you. And then also I teach you all of this within the membership on how to target and target letters. And you can watch all the videos that I've um, got on YouTube. Most of those videos are on the membership without all those ads. Because I know some of you guys don't pay to get the ads removed like I do. I don't let YouTube give me ads. I just can't do it. Because they like sell you on a lot of different things. But I have to keep drinking my pineapple juice, you guys, because I'm going to lose my voice talking so much. But definitely, if you guys want the six months of letters, make sure you go down to the bottom of the page and check this out here, okay? But we got the first letters done, technically. Remove those addresses. I cannot stress that enough. Remove your addresses. Like, that's first. You have to remove your addresses. And then I want you to come here. If you got very bad credit, look right here. The best credit cards for bad credit. It's right on my website, repeater.com. Check this out, you guys. This is something I put together. Like, even when I apply for some credit cards, I got another Wells Fargo card. I got another Chase card, um, an Amazon card. I went to my website, like I was looking at which one I want to get now. You know, I went here, like literally, you guys, um, and I've seen which one I wanted to get. This is very beneficial. So these are for people that got bad credit. If you got bad credit, it's a great chance you can get some of these credit cards on here. And if your credit is so bad you can't get like uh, Capital One or anything like that, you have to put a deposit down. Start with the, this um, Discover Insecure. Like that person that got them bad credit reports, they most likely won't have to do this. You just got too many big credit cards you messed up on. Anybody else going to take a chance on you? So you can try, start with the Discover Insecure. Um, Tumo, you guys, I had to make a video about them. My Tumo, I had like a $13 credit. And I was like, well, let me, use, let me put that extra on my account so I can use it or whatever. Hey, you know the Tumo closed their credit card? They don't have it. They have like some boost thing. So don't ignore this, you guys. Um, also, the in reward secure credit card. Um, start with this one. This one you can start with a two hundred dollar deposit, and then in six months, it's going to grow to two thousand dollars. That's like their standard two thousand dollars. So get this, you guys. Like that would be a very very good one. And then also that Capital One Platinum. But again, if you got bad credit, you guys just have to go to the go through the motions of removing these different accounts seriously and applying for credit cards. If you guys had a bankruptcy, try Credit One Bank because they don't care. You, if you had a bankruptcy, they don't, they don't care. Even people um, talked about Capital One, too, about how they had a bankruptcy and Capital One didn't care. But just you have to start going through the motions and start just applying and see what they're going to say. A lot of these credit cards can pre-qualify you, too, without a hard inquiry. So we see which ones can pre-qualify you without a hard inquiry. And make sure you don't have a high annual fee. You guys can pre-qualify for the Prosper credit card, and they can tell you exactly how much they could possibly give you, which is really good. Watch out, though, because sometimes they want to look at your bank account, make sure you got that money coming in that you said you had. So keep that in mind. Milestone is another good one for bad credit, but check the annual fees. Indigo also, check the annual fees. I literally got a video for each credit card. Plus, you can click right here where it says apply now.
or you can get a free downloadable guide, which that guide tell you all about the credit card. Plus, it also tell you three other credit cards that's similar that you can apply for. Now, let me show you all another trick on my website, just in case you guys don't know. If you guys see me talking about a credit card on here, or if you just want to know about a credit card, like I thought about this credit card, such as like the Apple credit card. You guys can search it right here at the top of my website. So just click search and it will pop up here. And you can see I have a review for the Apple credit card. Can you see that I have a full on review for that credit card? Even if you like any of those credit cards on like the best credit cards for this, best credit card for that. So like any of these right here, if you find a credit card on here, you can just search the full review for that credit card too. And here it is right here. This is the full review for the Apple credit card. You can apply for it. I'll talk about it. And you can see other people that got approved for it. I just thought this was so nice, you guys. Like you can see other people that actually got approved for that credit card. Isn't that good that you can see the other people that got approved for that credit card? But yeah, you can see other people that got approved for it, see details about it, and then find some credit cards that's similar. So you can find other credit cards that's very similar to that credit card, and then you can decide if you want to apply for it. Like the Discovery and Cashback. I just love Discovery, you guys. Um, two people said they got approved for it. They got 0% APR for 15 months. And then again, three more credit cards that's similar to this one. So you can go down a rabbit hole of credit cards and then see which ones you need to apply for. But you need to have at least four credit cards, you all. Like have at least four credit cards. Like that's what you all are going to need. Now we went through all of those um, different credit cards. We created some dispute letters, sent them out to the credit bureaus. And let me see if I have a certified receipt. Oh, excuse me. I don't have them, but I like to keep my certified receipts right here. Like sometimes I have certain clients that do like premium disputes and I have to send out their dispute letters certified. So I keep all of their like dispute letters right here. So like here was one of my clients. I send them all just in case they decide they want to sue them or whatever. I put them all here, but I have to send out some for me too. So I have some right here that I have to send out. As you can see right here, this is what I do. I send them out, out certified. And I want you guys to do the same thing too. Even if it's an inquiry, I don't care what it is, you guys. Send your stuff out certified. So if they don't um, delete it, then you have a paper trail showing that you sent them out. And these are back from May. They'll tell you exactly when you sent them out. You can send them for anything. If you was authorized, you on somebody's credit card and you messing up on it, you need to get off of it. <laughs> anything, you guys. You can um, additional addresses, additional names. Yeah, like you can do that, you all. You can go ahead and send it out. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can answer a few more questions. So a bankruptcy letter. So the bankruptcy letter. Um, and let me show you. You all have. It is a letter you can send. So there's a few ways you can go with bankruptcies. So you can send out this first letter. I've seen plenty of people get a bankruptcy removed, but it's not honestly all three credit bureaus. It's not going to, if you do, it can be lucky. I'm not going to say you can be lucky. Delete them addresses. Make sure you have a new address. If you got all bad addresses, get to a new one and delete all the old ones for that bankruptcy. I sent out this free letter right here. More people are going to find better results with this bankruptcy letter, honestly. And it's $27 for the package of four letters. You have to remove that bankruptcy from Lexis Nexus too. That's another thing that you're going to have to do. Um, you're going to have to remove it from Lexis Nexus. And also, if you guys were to get, like, if you're going to pay $27 for that, you might as well get the full package of letters. Again, this is going to be 65% uh, off. It's $197, but you can get all of the letters. It's going to, they say over 20 letters, but you're getting the late payments, student loans. You can get all of the letters for $68.95. I suggest you just go ahead and get this one because you have a package of all of the letters. But for bankruptcy, you can target them. All of these letters is in that package. They're all $27 a piece, but you're getting it all for $68 if you just buy the package. And then also, too, I can send them out because if you don't like, what's this Lexus Nexus thing, Rakita? If you get that package, all you got to do is technically get this free trial, get your credit reports for a dollar, and complete an application, and you in there. I'll send out the letters for you for free for six months. It's literally as simple as um, that. And then I'll send out the one for you for Lexus Nexus because we need to get that thing removed from Lexus Nexus because the credit bureaus, except for TransUnion, they like to go to Lexus Nexus and figure out what you have there in terms of bankruptcies, and they'll keep that bankruptcy on there. But yeah, bankruptcies is normally going to be this. You can send out this first letter. Like I said, this first letter, you probably can get a with a bankruptcy, a counter, you know, 
of one bureau, maybe not the other words. That's I'm just being honest with you about that. And it's not a guarantee any of these things were removed either. Be honest about that too. It's not a guarantee. You really need to remove the names and addresses because that's going to be very, very important when you're trying to uh, remove accounts from your credit reports. I have a bankruptcy on my transgender and my experience, I can't seem to get them to remove it. What have you tried to remove? What have you tried? Now, transgender is going to be more trickier and that's just because I forgot, the, I think it's LGI. Um, they have, or LCI, they have a, a a separate company right now that I'm actually battling with them too because you know we found out about Lexus next is they like oh you found out about that I'm gonna switch it up now they have another company that's actually reporting had bankruptcy so look into LGI or LCI matter of fact let me google it really quickly um let's do it together <laughs> I think it's L C I bankrupt L C I I think this is it yeah yeah, this is it right here, LCI. This is a company right now that's housing our bankruptcies for TransUnion. Okay, this is the company that has it. So learn how to um, fight with them. I fought with them a little bit. I'm going to keep fighting with them, but that's going to be the way. Oh, dang, I didn't even, my screen is not being shared. Sorry, you guys. Oh, here it is right here, you guys. I thought y'all was looking while I was Googling it. But um, this is the company right here that have that bankruptcy. Okay, this is who they have the bankruptcy. Never miss a bankruptcy. You better miss a bankruptcy. Like leave mine alone. <laughs> but seriously, this is who have that bankruptcy. So let me copy this in the comments because this is the one that have that bankruptcy. Oh, here it is right here. Just in case you guys can't see it that clearly. That's the company that had the bankruptcies right now. So if you have a bankruptcy, that's the company. Are you for real? For real. Once you get the so people might, why would you give out, why would you send out the letters free? Like I said, people get these letters and they don't send them. And then some people get the letters, they end up coming back and, and having me do them anyway. And I realized some people are getting the letters. And then when I get calls from people, that, like some people are losing their houses right now. They like going through and they by themselves, like, dude, mm -mm. It, it makes so sad. Cause I remember going through that and how depressed I was like going through all that. It would be nothing for me to go ahead and send those letters out, literally. It'll be nothing for me to send out. Like I guess I have the, the uh, capabilities of sending it out. I can send a letter out in one minute. Like you see, I went through and sent all those letters. Like you copy it. No, no, no. My system can automatically pull it in for my Danny IQ, which is why I said get it for my Danny IQ. You're not making me work. Get it. I can pull it in for my Danny IQ, and it can put it all in the letter. And then all I gotta do is press print. You know, got my letters and my stamps here. This is the most work I'm going to be doing. My students can do the letters. They know exactly what I want them to say for each company that's on there. So it's literally it's so simple. But for you guys, it's a lot of work. So it's nothing like, especially if you guys get the package, I'll at least get the $68 for that. And that'll help pay for my assistance. And it's a numbers game too. So it's, it's really that that hard. And if you guys get the free letter, send it out and start repairing your credit. You want to talk better about me, you know, to everybody else. Yeah, use that one letter, Rakita. You know, I win. I win, you win, we win. It. Is there any way to stop the make for reporting transactions? It depends on which one because when you say and stop the bank, is it are you having like um negative things we show and forget? We have our you know why you try to apply for like that two more credit card. They want to look at your banking history. Like what are what exactly do you mean by that? Stop the reporting um transactions. Who are they reporting it to? And sometimes I don't know if you have like a um credit card with the bank. I honestly don't know exactly what you mean by that because that is like open and like who they reporting it to especially when you say bank it's not even like a credit card company or anything like that you send a bank who are they reporting these to and if you have negative things on there you can see it's a lot of third-party bureaus we talked about that already too about the different third-party bureaus that they're reporting to who who do you want them to stop reporting to and what is it messing up with you you know what i mean 
Oh, so you said you got to remove from Equifax, but can't get it removed from TransUnion, or I'm guessing you're going to say Experian. Um, I found that also Equifax is going; they're not going to play with you. They're going to delete some stuff. I like Equifax; they're going to delete some stuff. A lot of um, companies don't even like to pull the report from Equifax, but just try to be persistent and consistent and just send out some just few letters make sure you the address that you have filed your bankruptcy on you make sure that that's removed from your credit report make sure you have a new address and make sure it's like literally removed from lexus nexus don't just try to freeze your um, report from them with them like really make sure that it's removed and i think that's gonna be the best way of you actually getting um deleted from your credit reports and then think about it like this if you're not able to get it deleted just say persistent will just keep sending letters and then hopefully um you'll be able to see that it comes off so at some point instead of waiting the seven years or waiting the 10 years um hopefully you'll be able to see that it's it gets deleted that way by you just staying persistent and consistent and sending letters. And like I said, that bankruptcy, you have to look into them because this is where all the viewers are going. Once they find out that we learn stuff, you guys, they go to another place. They have to start doing other things. So make sure you guys um, check them out. Again, get those free dispute letters on my website, Rakita.com. Make sure you guys are all subscribed. Make sure you guys like this video. If you guys are on... Um, Facebook, if you were on my Rakita Realty page, please like that page. And this is me just sending out our first round of dispute letters. I'm going to do another person um, next week. We're going to send out dispute letters for that person. I'm going to show you how I'm going to just do their dispute letters, but I'm going to go ahead and finish out their letters behind the scenes. So again, this is the letter for Equifax that we created. This is the letter for TransUnion that we created. And this is the letter for Experian that we created. And they have a lot of accounts. We all we listed them all here. And then two, you want to get this bankruptcy letter, the validation of debt letter. This, I mean, not for bankruptcy, I'm sorry, debt collection. You know, we get them letters in the mail from a collection company. Hey, we have a new account for you. If you do not, if you do not respond back, we're gonna put on your credit report. That's what this is for. So send that in to that company. If you want a company to stop contacting you, this is gonna be included. They're saying, don't call me, don't do anything like like that okay so it's a long one that you can send in for them and then also this is your fire removal letter all this is gonna be for, for free just go to my website rakita.com and you will see it right here uh just click right here you'll get that free letter and you'll get a webinar on how to increase your credit score 60 points in 60 days but this is that inquiry letter right here um, so go ahead and fill this in for your inquiries. If you guys have inquiries, and then this is your bankruptcy letter. This letter right here, you're going to send right to the courthouse, whoever it is that uh, you have your bankruptcy, basically. Or if you have another bankruptcy, like in your state or something, um, or you have another court that you can send it to, you can send it to that court, and they're just going to say, hey, we don't... Um, send out information about bankruptcies and you just want to have that because when you talk to the credit bureaus you're going to ask them hey how did you get my information about this bankruptcy what they're going to say is they're going to lie and say we got to write from the bankruptcy court they're not going to a lot of times say lexus nexus they're not going to say lci they're going to say that they got it from the bankruptcy courts and then once you get that letter sent you they did not get it from the bankruptcy court send that into the credit bureaus that can help you there saying, hey, you did not get it from me. And then also, you can also send a complaint into the CFPB once you have proof that they send your letter saying that they got it from the bankruptcy court and you got a letter from the court saying that they don't even give this information out. You can uh, have both of these, both of those, and send it in to the CFPB to see if they can help you get that account removed. Okay, okay, let me see, Eric, with those letters, work for my type of issue. Let me see. I don't honestly understand your, remember, I don't understand this one. I don't know. With the stop the bank from reporting transactions with them on your consumer report, like which one are they reporting to? You know, so many companies that they're reporting to. I don't know. Schedule a call with me. So schedule a call with me, you all. Um, go to my website, schedule a call. Even if you would like to get my assistant, Esther, um, ask Esther, hey, can you please see when I can talk to Rakita? I really need to talk to Rakita. She's going to try not to get you to talk to me because I'm so busy. But just, you know, still say, hey, Rakita told her live said I can call and y'all will somehow get me on the schedule. And she'll get you on my schedule. Let me talk to you and see exactly what you mean. Because I, I honestly don't know right now. 
um, would like to next and send a dispute in. That's it. Just send a dispute in. And I have a special Lexus Nexus letter, and I can't get it to you because I literally use it for um, my my people in the membership to get it removed. But that thing don't play. I think I don't know. I think that you can literally put on this a letter. Um, I think that you can literally just put on the letter, or even use that round one. But just put on there. Hey, you have a bankruptcy on here. Where are you getting this bankruptcy from? Please verify this bankruptcy on my credit reports. And my I just don't want everybody having my letter. I'm not gonna lie to you. But that letter works, it, and it does what it needs to. It helped me, too, when I need to remove mine, like, and it helped a lot of clients. So that's why I use that letter. But I just can't give it out. But I think that if you just have a basic letter to LexisNexis, ask and remove it, it would be good. Some people call, don't call. Um, you could if you want to, but I say send that letter in because the biggest thing about LexisNexis, a lot of people are not going to watch this. The biggest thing about LexisNexis is they don't verify. And they got their own system where they say, hey, we did not respond in time. So we're going to just remove it from your credit report that they have with them. So that's really the thing. They're not going to, they, we didn't get the information in time. So we're going to just remove it. That's their whole thing. But I don't know if it's even my letter to, that's why I said, just try. And if it don't work for you, you know, just remind me, hey, Rakita, I was going to lie you refuse to give me a letter. <laughs> Is this the way you can help me? Because that letter really works. But don't laugh, don't laugh, King. Don't laugh. I'm serious about that. Sometimes that PTO, like, you know, you got like that, that letter, you, you let that letter just flow out for you. I don't know if it's going to stop working like that. Like the other letters are broad. You know what I mean? Like you, if you want to fill in so much information, the other one, all you're doing is literally putting in the bankruptcy um, court name and then whatever your case number was. So all you putting on there, that's it. You know, and you put, in, I, have, I still have other information on there, but the other ones, you got 20 different accounts you're putting on there. You're going to mix it up some. It's not technically going to be the same. So, yeah. Can you help me? Uh, let me let me look at it first. Let me look at it first. Um, you sent out your first round of disputes, and let me see what, exactly what you're going to send out, and let me see what you have actually done. It is a lot of work. That's why it's better to have, like, the automated um them. And then I remember everything that I did to get accounts removed. So now I'm getting even better. So I remember everything I did. Like, okay, I said this, I did this, this is the letter. Da, da, da. I know all of that. So now it's like, okay, I got to remove from this person doing that. I do the same thing for the other people. And it makes it easier uh, uh, on my end. But I hope you guys have a great weekend. We were live for a whole hour. <clears throat> Y'all can hear my voice is about to leave. So I'll see you guys later. Hopefully next weekend I'll be able to come live. Um, come on live again and then I'll be able to show you someone else's on how I'm actually able to help them remove some of their accounts and remember um, sometimes like oh I think I have one right here like a bankruptcy uh, get it removed again this is from Equifax too you see it's a public record removed from your credit reports um, here is collection that got removed some Department of Education, some student loans, basically, another collection, Credit One being removed. Credit One and Capital One is two accounts that we literally just had um, did today, too. Here's some collections. So, yes, yeah, quite a few accounts on here. These are just some results that I have from like the system I'm using. I put these results on here for like when I record videos. So I figured, let me show you all. Just so you guys can stay motivated. Inquiries. Excuse me. Some more inquiries. Um, another bankruptcy being removed. 129 points at credit scores went up. Another public record being removed. Oh, credit score increased. It must have started really low. And then I'm showing you the end results. Oh, somebody getting approved for $15,000. Uh, bankruptcy. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you all these results. So, st just stay on it, you guys. Like, literally stay on it. And I believe that you guys will be able to make it. But consistency is key. Everything, it, can, it ain't free because technically you can't sell out your letters for free. Y'all got to pay for the stamps. <laughs> On your end, y'all got to pay for the stamps. Y'all got to pay for the steps. But on, on my end, like I said, for me to send out the letters, you technically do have to get the package, which is going to be $68. That right there is going to be able for me to be able to pay my assistance. And then on top of that, too, you got I got another person that's going to say, oh, Rikita got physically and that deleted. And then you're going to get a whole bunch of people in that's going to actually pay. So 
you know, it's kind of like you being an advertiser for me, but you don't even know you're going to advertise. You're going to be so excited about what you got done. You're going to have no choice but to advertise for me. <laughs> but I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys later. Y'all have a great weekend. Bye-bye.